way. But they want to do it their way. And that becomes, and guess what? They try to get everybody to follow them. Because if I say sheep follow the sheep, everybody follow one another. Now look, 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 look. You take a sheep, and the sheep will follow another sheep all the way down the cliff. And if all of them, all of them will fall down over the cliff. Everybody want to go their own way. And that comes, and that's right there, what you call you know, and it says, look, and guess what? It's all has sinned, it's all has sinned, and fallen short of the glory of God. And it says this, but guess what? It says the wages of sin. The wages of sin. You keep going that way, huh? The wages of sin. You keep going that way, huh? The wages of sin, the Bible says. The wages of sin. You keep traveling down that sinful path. You keep going down that wrong path. You keep going down that wrong path. Guess what? It's going to lead to what? Destruction. It's going to lead to death. Spiritual death and physical death. It says the wages of sin. All has sin before the shun of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But guess what? There is hope, people. There is hope. It says, but, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Guess what? God wants to give you a true gift, huh? God wants to give you a, 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 a gift, a gift, an everlasting gift, huh? God wants to give you a gift. Not only would you get to heaven, but guess what? He don't want you to live here right here on earth. Hallelujah. God wants to give you a gift, and that gift is eternal life. He wants to give you a free gift. Anybody want a free gift? Anybody want this free gift? Because guess what? One day you want to die. One day you want to die. One day you want to die, you want to see the way. We're not here to live forever, people. But guess what? You got to know where you want to spend eternity when you do die. You got to know where you want to die. When you die, you got to know where your soul is going at. You got to know where you're going when you die. Are you going to hell or are you going to heaven? Do you have to say, guess what? Are your name written in the Lamb's book of life? You know what? God got books in heaven. God got books in heaven. And who's keeping this code? Who's keeping this code? But there is hope, people. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. It says, but God showed his love for us. So while we were still sinners, while we were still sinners, while we were still sinners, guess what? Christ died for us. While we were still in our sins, while we were still messed up, while we were still all messed up, guess what? Jesus went to the cross. He said, Father, I go down for you. I go down. I go down. I go down to sacrifice my life. I go down to the cross. I die for the people. Come on. Jesus came down to die for you, people. He came, he came to be slain for you. He came to give his life as a ransom for sin. Don't say no to the one who said yes. God had a good plan. Yeah. Because guess what? God could destroy us all. God could destroy us all. God, God, God could have put us all out of here. Guess what? We can be still living underneath the Lord. We can be still living underneath the Lord. The Moses Lord. But thank God for Jesus Christ. Thank God for Jesus Christ. Thank God for grace and mercy. So we're still here. We're not consumed, people. We're not consumed. We're still here. We still got hope. We still got a chance, people, to get in the right with God. We still got a chance to get in the right with the Savior. We still got a chance to get in the right with the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. There's hope, people, for this Please. Please, brother, please. It says this. But to, but to all who did receive him, listen to this. Everybody say, I'm a child of God. Hey, you know what? I hear this all the time. I'm a child of God. You know what? Uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses say they're a child of God. Uh, uh, the people over there, what's the people over there? The Christian, Christian people, they say I'm a child of God. The Muslims say I'm a child of God. Everybody say they're a child of God. But you gotta listen to this. I'm a child of this to this. Yeah. It says, but, 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 to, but to all who receive who? Yeah. All who receive Jesus Christ. To all who receive him, him who believes in his name, has 
He he gave us the right to become children of God. God gave the right for those who believe in God's Son, those who put their trust in Jesus Christ, are God's children. They got what? The devil got children too. The devil got children too, the Bible says. But the devil says you don't want to live right. The devil says you don't want to live right from God. The devil says you reject God. The devil says you reject the truth of God. The devil says it's sin. The devil says it's sin each and every day. They live a lifestyle of sin. A life of sin. And they say they're a child of God. That's the devil's children. God's children. God's children, they got a seed of righteousness in them that they can't act in. And if they do this, they have an advocate. They have an advocate with the Father. They have Jesus Christ as our high priest, our advocate. But who do this, we can go tricking on our knees and ask God to forgive us of our sins. And He's faithful and just to forgive us in Jesus Christ. So when you hear somebody, that the Jehovah's Witness, or, or these people right here, the girl who's just that a child of God, they tell you a lie. They're not a child of God. They're a child of the devil. Only those who receive Jesus Christ, only those who believe in Christ Jesus, only those who follow in Christ Jesus are the children of the living God. They belong to God Almighty. Only those who accept Jesus Christ is God's truth. So, if you want to be God's child, all you have to do is this. Admit your need. Tell God to am a sinner. Be willing to turn from your sins and ask God to forgive you. Repent, 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 repent. And believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross and rose from the grave. Do prayer. Invite Jesus Christ to come into your and, and, and come, come, to, come to come in and control your life. Through the Holy Spirit. Receive Christ as Lord and Savior. Now you're a child of God. What you do is you become a child of God. What you what you what you repent of your sin and ask Christ Jesus in your life and turn from sin and wickedness, you become a child of God. And start living for God and living for righteousness. So then you're a child of God. Now you belong to Jesus Christ. You belong to God. Oh my. It's through repentance, people. It's through repentance and turning away from sin. You can't be a child of God and still living in sin. Yeah. You can't be a child of God and still living a living a wicked and a, and a fornicating life and in and, 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 and a sinful lifestyle. You can't in a lie and the truth is not in you. Turn from your sin and turn back to the mighty God. Be ye reconciled, says the Lord. Be ye reconciled. Come back to God Almighty before it's too late. Judgment day is coming. Judgment day is coming, people. Judgment day is coming. And listen, and when you reject, listen, and when you reject Jesus Christ, judgment is already upon you. Judgment is already upon you because you, because you refuse to believe the Son of God. Yeah. God bless you. Get right with God. You stop playing up and relent with your life. Stop yeah. thinking you're here to stay forever because you're not here to stay forever. One day you want to die, you want to see Jesus Christ. You want to see, you want to stay for God Almighty on that day of judgment day. And God's going to be the judge. He's going to be the ultimate judge for your life. And we will spend eternity. Amen. God bless. Amen. Thank you, brother, for those words by the Holy Spirit. Amen. John 7. I mean, John 8. Let's start at verse 13. Verse 12. Then Jesus spake. Again, unto them, saying, I am the mother of the world. In this mother, they shall not go to the world, but as 
but you have the light of life. The Pharisees said to him, do him, how far is David of thyself? By that it is not true. Mm-hmm. Little did they know. Little did they know. That my record is true, for I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I came and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man, and yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. When he has lifted up the Son of Man, then shall he know that I am me, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father has taught me, I speak these things. As he spoke these words, many believed on him. As he spoke these words, many believed on him. Therefore, Jesus and those students which believed on him, if he continue in my word, then how are ye my disciples indeed? And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered and said, They answered to him, we be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Here comes the kicker. Jesus said unto them, Very, very, I say unto you, who to all the committed sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. That's why you got to believe in the truth of Jesus. Because it is the truth. They didn't believe on him because they didn't know him. They didn't know him and they didn't know who he was. So we know Jesus, don't we, my brother? We know Jesus. We know He is alive. We know He is dead. And we believe on Him. And not only believe, we act on our belief. Because we know that Jesus is the only one that can give us salvation. The only one. Amen. This world cannot give us salvation. Your church can't give you salvation. Your pastor can't save you. The Pope can't save you. The Virgin Mary can't save you. Stop worshiping these idols. What's wrong with y'all? Have y'all gone mad? Have y'all gone crazy? Worshiping idols. Don't you know that's an abomination to the Lord Almighty? It's when you get on your knees and confess your sins to a priest who's probably got more sins under his belt than you. A man cannot save you. I don't care if he's wearing a priest outfit or a bishop outfit. He can't save you. Your family can't save you. Only the blood. Solamente sangre de Jesucristo. The foot of our life. Solamente sangre de Jesucristo. The foot of our life. Y date otra vida, una vida nueva con él, para que tú puedas tener vida eterna en los cielos. Amén. Amén. All my Spanish speaking brothers and sisters are here. Yeah. El sangre, el sangre de Jesús tiene más poder que todo el mundo. Amén. Amén. It's only the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Jesus, that can free us and 